Hey friends, Ash here with GenSense. It is time to review a new Emporio Armani Stronger With You. And today it's Stronger With You Leather. They did just announce the newest Stronger With You, which is gonna be called Stronger With You Absolutely. But as of right now, this is the newest one until Absolutely comes out. In this video, you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna check out the presentation. I'm gonna break this one down for you, let you know what I think about it, let you know how my opinions have changed since I did the first impression on this, and it has actually changed a bit. And I'll let you know where I think this one falls in the hierarchy of Stronger With You. So let's jump into it. First up, presentation time. So here is the box. It's got this gold reflective metallic finish to it. You've got the name of the fragrance, name of the house, size and concentration, all right here on the front. At the top, it says exclusive edition. This fragrance is supposed to be exclusive to the Middle East market. This one I actually picked up from fragranceby.ca, but as of me filming this video, they are unfortunately out of stock. Hopefully here in the near future, they'll get more. Maybe Fragrance Net, Fragrance X, your discounter of choice, whatever it is, we'll get these in stock. Uh, we've seen similar things happen with Dolce & Gabbana, The One Royal Night and Mysterious Night, where they were pretty hard to find for a while. And those were also Middle East exclusives and then eventually found their way to discounters. So a little bit of an aside, but just letting you know that's where this fragrance originates and that's why it might be hard to find at least in the short term. You have this sort of uh, band that goes around the box that has a textured feel to it, which emulates what you'll find on the cap. And at the top, you have the Emporio Armani logo. On the back, you have your ingredient information. On the bottom, you've got your badge code. It is 62T70Y9. And here is your bottle. It's gonna be the same shape as all the other fragrances in the Stronger With You line. This one though has that reflective gold metallic finish, same as the box. Again, you've got the name of the fragrance, the name of the house right there on the front. The cap does click into place. You have to find the specific spot for it to click into place. So there you can see it. If you try to just randomly throw it on there, it won't go. It has to be in the right spot. And then you have the Emporio Armani logo on top of the atomizer and your batch coat at the bottom. I'll go ahead and waste a spray for you guys here. Two sprays actually. Obviously I bought mine in a 50 mil bottle size. It also comes in a 100 mil bottle size. This was the only size available when I made the purchase. So far, the Stronger With You line has included the original Stronger With You, followed by Stronger With You Intensely, and then Stronger With You Freeze, and now Stronger With You Leather. Of the first three, it seems to me that this one, Freeze, actually has gotten the least amount of talk, the least amount of hype. And this one intensely seems to be the one that people like the most. When you first spray this one on, you get this nice, sweet spiciness. It's got chestnut, which ties it in with all the other fragrances in the line, and you can smell it right away as soon as you spray this one on. One of the things that I said about this fragrance in my first impression is that even though it's called Stronger With You Leather, I didn't get a whole bunch of leather from it. But after repeated wearings, the leather actually comes out more and I can pick it up more. It's almost like it was overshadowed by the spices and the sweetness and the chestnut the very first time that I smelled it. And I didn't really catch that leather peeking through. But the more you wear it, the more you will pick up that leather, the more you'll notice it. That being said, the leather in this fragrance is still not like a really aggressive leather. It's not a dirty leather. It's just this nice sort of black leather that sits underneath the other notes. Like I said, the more you wear it, the more you'll pick it up. As it dries down, vanilla becomes one of the more important notes in the fragrance. That chestnut is there for almost the entirety of the lifespan of the fragrance for me. It does fade away a bit as it dries down. It's more noticeable initially and through the mid, but as it dries down, that vanilla becomes really important. It's this very nice, sweet vanilla. At times in the mid, comes across uh, sort of dusty. Like it has this, this slight dustiness to it. Some people might say a little, little touch of a, a powder to the vanilla, but it's not too much. There's also oud in the base of this fragrance, but don't really get too much oud here. So it doesn't really come out for me. I don't really pick that up. 
Guyac wood is also in the base and I get a little bit more of that. Guyac wood can lend sort of a, sometimes a dark, sort of slightly smoky woodiness. It works really well with leather. In some fragrances, Guyac wood will almost smell kind of like a leather accord, depending on how it's used and what it's working with in that fragrance. But here, it works really well with the leather as it dries down. Those two notes, leather and Guyac wood, do kind of play second fiddle to the vanilla as it dries down, but it works very well. And so for me, Stronger With You Leather is actually a fragrance that has grown on me more the longer I've had it and the more wearings that I've given it. This is one that when I first smelled it, I thought, you know, it's really redundant. There's no purpose in owning it. It smells pretty good, uh, but it does basically the same thing that Stronger With You does. So what's the point? I will still say though, that it is quite similar to Stronger With You and Stronger With You Intensely. This is not a huge departure. There's not a massive difference between Stronger With You and Stronger With You Leather. It's not that type of flanker. It's not the kind of flanker where it's, you know, 90% different and just has a little bit of the DNA. This one is, is pretty, pretty similar. But I really like what it has done. I like what it's done with the DNA. I like that leather. Even though it's not a heavy leather, it's not a, an in-your-face leather, it's not a super ultra-masculine leather note, I like it. I like that nuance. I like that, that little touch that it brings. I like the guy I put in there working with the leather and uh, kind of melding with that vanilla as it dries down. It's really well done. Now, as far as where I would put this one in the whole Stronger With You hierarchy, I think that this one is better than the original Stronger With You. I would take this over the original pretty much every day of the week. I think that the additional leather in here really does bring an extra facet to it. It's not quite as sweet for me, and I like that. I think that's an improvement. Between Stronger With You Leather and Stronger With You Intensely, it's much closer. <laughs> it's very difficult. I would say probably sitting here today that I would rather wear Stronger With You Leather. And between these two, it's really more of a toss up. If we're talking spring or early fall, I would go with this one, Stronger With You Freeze. If we're talking later fall or winter, I would go Stronger With You Leather. Of course, Stronger With You Absolutely, like I spoke about before at the beginning of the video, is gonna be coming out very soon. That one has a rum note that I'm really looking forward to, and it's possible that that might be the best of the bunch. They actually say that it's the strongest one yet. I guess we'll see. Now, as far as the performance here, really good. What you would expect. Over eight hours of longevity, so well above average. Projection, very solid for the first hour and a half, even two hours. So stronger with you, leather, easily an above average performer in terms of when you would use it, fall and winter. I think you can use it day or night, though it does lean maybe a little more toward nighttime use. I also think that stronger with you, leather is a little more appropriate for older gentlemen than Stronger With You Intensely or the original Stronger With You will be. And again, that goes back to the leather and the slight reining in of the sweetness. My wife has complimented me on this one multiple times and her friends have as well. So that one, big attention grabber, big attention puller, very positively. And really it goes to that whole DNA that's here. Again, not a huge difference between Stronger With You and Stronger With You Leather, but the tweaks that are done I think are positive tweaks and the performance is there to get you noticed. So for me, Stronger With You Leather is gonna get a thumbs up. In terms of uh, rating, which I'm gonna start doing here uh, on the channel, I would say this one 4.25 out of five. Really solid fragrance, great for compliments, great performance. I like what it's done with the DNA. I like the leather, even though it's not a huge, huge part of the fragrance, it's really well done. So there we go, Stronger With You Leather, 4.25 out of five for me. The only drawback for that one, and it is kind of an important thing, not easy to find. All right guys, that's gonna do it for me. If you smelled that one, let me know in the comments below what you think about it and let me know where you think it stands in the Stronger With You lineup. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for your support. Stay safe out there and I'll see you tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.